Good afternoon, Whitney Bowles. This is Mrs. Westhead, your friendly neighborhood school librarian. And I wanted to show you a few really cool tools that you can do use while you're working in Google Slides at school this year. The first thing is you're going to notice that this isn't a normal sized slide presentation. This looks more like a regular page in a notebook rather than a slide presentation. How did I do it? I simply clicked on the file tab and then I went down and selected page setup. You can see I've changed this from standard or widescreen to custom and changed the sizes to an eight and a half by 11. Eight and a half width, 11, 11 inches in length. And I hit apply and now I have my um, cool web size. All right, the next thing we wanna do is learn to add a background to our page. I click on the background button. I can add a color if I want to or I can choose an image. What's really cool is that I can actually choose an image right from Google. I can search Google and find what I want. So there we go. There's a really cool Whitney Bull. I'm going to select it and then hit the insert button. Once it's there, I hit done and we are ready to go. Uh, let's give this a bit of a change. So we are going to see change this to Wims Bulls. I'm going to highlight it. Let's change the font and make this a nice bright colored green. You can see this is kind of a lime yellow green here I've got. If I want to change the color, I simply go on whatever item that it has for color and I select, select the plus under the custom button. And then I can change my color as I need to. All righty then. The next thing we need to know how to do is insert pages in our uh, Google Slides. Some of our teachers will be using in digital notebooks for school this year. So that means you have it on your computer wherever you are, no matter what you're doing. All you need to do, if teacher shares a slide, some slides with you and you need to add them to a notebook that you already have, you're going to go under the file button and you're going to select import slides. Any and all slide presentations that you have will slowly appear. It takes a second to load. And then you can find the one you want. All right, I'm going to scroll down here, click the slide presentation you want. I'm going to actually double click it and it's going to open up in a new tab. Any, all of the slides that show up in that slide presentation will appear. One, two, three, four. This presentation only has one, so I can select that one I want and then click on Import Slides. And the slide is then added to my notebook. The next thing I want to show you is some really cool tools in some of the notebooks that you'll be given for your by your teachers. For example, this is the Digital and Information Literacy Student Notebook that you will be getting at the beginning of the year. To navigate it, you can simply click on the buttons and it will take you to the slide presentation page in that slide presentation that you need. Some of the other cool things that you'll see is that we have some different kinds of activities in these notebooks. For example, you might have a question and you have to type your answer here. So highlight the section where it says type here and type your answer there. Again, we have some also some drag and drop activities. For example, match the terms with the definitions. Find the term, find the definition, and which one does it go? You simply click and drag and drop the box into the right space. Some of our slide presentations even have videos built in, so you don't even have to navigate to a new website to um, watch the video. So let's have a look at some more. Again, we have some places where we simply click on the box and we can begin typing our answer. And here we have another website, another page, sorry, not website, where I have a red X and I simply grab it and drag it and drop it, oops, to wherever I need it to go into the right spot. So in using these new tools in Google Slides, 
are super, super easy, but if you have any questions, be sure to ask your teacher or to ask Mrs. Westhead. See you later.